Hi everybody, my name is Miss Heaney and today we are going to be discussing the module four week one vocabulary skill word analysis with prefixes. Remember that a prefix is something that is put at the beginning of a word to change its meaning. We're going to talk about two prefixes today, sub and for. Sub is a word at a prefix added to the beginning of the word that means under and for is a prefix that's added to a word that means before. Let's go ahead and see these prefixes in action and how they change words. Passages and books have titles. Sometimes there is another title that gives us extra information about the title, and it is under the first title. This is called a subtitle. We have sub as our prefix, title as the base word. We also have headings. Headings are in texts, and they help separate our passages. Under our headings, we also have subheadings. They are written below the headings to give us more information. For is a prefix that means before. For, before. This week we have a vocabulary word, foreboding. Let's pull this apart. We have our prefix for, which means before. The word bode means an omen of a particular outcome. So for example, an omen is kind of like hints or a sign that something is going to happen. That creates our word foreboding. It's happening before that. You're kind of getting bad vibes or good vibes about a situation. One more that we're going to talk about is cast with four in front of it. A forecast is a lot of times referenced as an outlook for the weather. For, meaning before, it happens. So if someone was forecasting rain in the future, they were making that educated guess before it actually happened. Remember that our prefixes we're talking about this week are sub and for. Sub, when put in front of words, stands for under, and for has a meaning of before. Thanks for watching. Bye.